Next example, one half plus two fifths equals. Let us answer. Change the fractions to similar fractions. Get the LCD of two and five. That is ten. Ten divided by two is five. Five times one is five. Ten divided by five equals two. Two times two equals four. Then, Hi, I'm Marit Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. In this video, I'll teach you how to add dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar fractions are fractions with denominators that are not the same. It is also called unlike fractions. Now, let us take these fractions to add dissimilar fractions. 3 fourths plus 1 third. These are dissimilar fractions because the denominators are not the same. There are different denominators. To add dissimilar fractions, we need to change first the dissimilar fractions to similar fraction before adding. So how can we change this to similar fractions? In order for us to change this dissimilar fractions to similar fractions, we need to get the LCD or least common denominator of 4 and 3. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of the numbers. So we will get the LCM of 4 and 3 and we will use that as the LCD. The LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. Then 12 is the LCD. LC, okay, least common denominator. 12. The LCM of 4 and 3 is 12. The LCM will be used as the LCD. We use it as denominator. Okay, next we are going to divide the LCD by the denominators. This one here and this one here. And then this one, we will divide it by the denominator and multiply it by the numerator to get the new numerator. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 is the new numerator. So, 3 fourths becomes 9 twelfths. Then, here, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, so the new numerator is 4. So, 1 third becomes 4 twelfths. Now, the fractions are similar fractions. They have both 12 as the denominator. Then, we can apply now the rule in adding similar fractions, which is to add the numerators and copy the common denominator. And then, express the answer in lowest term. So, we will add 9 plus 4 equals 13. And then, the common denominator, the LCD is 12. Okay, the answer is 13 twelfths. It is improper fraction, so we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So we will divide 13 by 12. And of course, we can divide it mentally. 13 divided by 12 is 1. And the remainder is 1. So the answer is 1 and 1 twelfth. But I will show you how to arrange these numbers. So 13, 13 divided by 12. 
the answer is 1 and 1 times 12 equals 12, 13 minus 12 equals 1. This, this quotient is the whole number. This is the proper arrangement of the numbers. And this one, the numerator. And this one, the denominator. Okay, so three-fourths plus one-third equals one and one-twelfth. The answer is in simplest form. Another example. Four-sixths plus four-eighths. Dissimilar fractions. The rule in adding dissimilar fraction is to change dissimilar fraction to similar fraction and then add the numerators, copy the common denominator and reduce the answer to lowest term. So we will do it here. We will get the LCM of 6 and 8 and we will use that as the LCD. 6 and 8, the LCM is 24. 24 now is the LCD. 24. Next, divide the LCD by the denominator and multiply by the numerator to get the new numerator. This is the old numerator. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Next, this one. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. So the fractions now are similar. So next step is to add the numerators and copy the LCD. 16 plus 12 is 28. Copy the LCD, 24. The answer is 28, 24. Improper fraction. We need to simplify the answer because that is the rule to express the answer in lowest term or in simplest form. Okay, so we will divide the numerator by the denominator. We will divide 28 divided by 24. 28 divided by 24 is 1. 1 times 24 is 24. Then subtract 8 minus 4 is, is 4. 2 minus 2 equals 0. Then, the quotient is 1. This is the whole number. The remainder is 4. This is the numerator. And the divisor is the denominator. The answer is 1 and 4 twenty-fourths. Whole number, fraction. Look at the fraction. The numerator is 4 and the denominator is 24. They are both composite numbers and they have common factors. So we can still reduce this to lowest term by dividing the numerator and the denominator by their GCF. So the GCF of 4 and 24 is 4. We will divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. Of course, the whole number, we will just write the whole number. Copy the whole number and divide the numerator and the denominator. 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. The answer now is 1 and 1 sixth. Always remember that we need to express the answer in lowest term. That is the rule in solving fractions. Next example, one half plus two fifths equals. Let us answer, change the fractions to similar fractions. Get the LCD of two and five, that is 10. 10 divided by two is five, five times one, is 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. Then, add the numerators and copy the LCD. 5 plus 4 equals 9. 
Copy the LCD, 10. The answer is 9 tenths. 9 tenths is already in the lowest term. Because if the numerator and the denominator are consecutive numbers, the fraction is in lowest term. So this is the final answer. Last example. 2 fourths plus 1 third equals. Okay, the LCD is 12. Right, 12? 12. 12 divided by 4, 3 is 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, next, add the numerators. Copy the LCD. 6 plus 4 equals 10. Then LCD is 12. The answer is 10 twelfths. Proper fractions. But the numerator and the denominator have common factors. So we can reduce this to lowest term. Get the GCF. The GCF of 10 and 12 is 2. So we are going to divide. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And 12 divided by 2 equals 6. The answer now is 5 sixths. So that is how to add the similar fractions. You need to remember that in adding the similar fractions, you need to change first the dissimilar fractions to similar fractions. Then add the numerators, copy the LCD, and always express the answer in lowest term. Now, can you get the sum of 3 fifths and 2 sixths? If you can, give me your answer by writing it in the comment box below. That's all for this topic. I hope you learned in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to continue learning, please subscribe in our channel and Click the notification bell so that you will be updated of our new videos. Thank you so much again. See you next time. God bless.